Okay, guys, so today <clears throat> I want to really address my Christians on this. Um, it's something that I noticed that um, a lot of people is starting to, a lot of Christians is allowing this spirit to enter, um, you know, within the community. Um, and what that spirit is, is the spirit of offense. It's taking everything offensive, being offensive towards every single thing. And guys, it's not a healthy habit. Um, in fact, God called for us to bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And that's the only thing that he calls for us to be. That's the only assignments that we have. Nothing more, but we, we, we are assigned to show love, to show joy, to show peace, to show patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness gentleness and self-control so everything that i just named is the is the fruits of the holy spirit okay so as a christian that's what we should showcase if you truly hope if you truly house the holy spirit and if you're truly guided by the holy spirit so this is how you see who's guided by the holy spirit this is how you see who is obedient to the holy spirit because when you're obedient to the Holy Spirit, you exercise a certain level of self-control. So that goes for not taking stuff so offensive. Now, please understand that it's going to be people in this world that are driven by the devil. As a Christian, you should know that. You should know these things. So it shouldn't be a wow factor to you. You should understand that it's people out here that's driven by the devil. So if they're driven by the devil, guess what? They're going to be more fleshly. They're going to be more led by the by the by the works of the flesh. You see how that works? The devil drives people through the flesh. He's the devil in the flesh. We're driven by the spirit. So we should with every situation that presents to us, we should be able to present love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and goodness, and faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control out of every situation. You know why? Because these are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. This is Jesus in a nutshell. When people say, well, you know, you remember when they used to say, what would Jesus do? Well, this is what Jesus would do. This is the fruits of his spirit. This is how he operated. OK, even when the Pharisees was trying to come at him and say little sidebar stuff, he still exercised a great bit of gentleness and self-control when dealing with them. And he had peace about it and he had joy. When you go back and you study his stories, you know, when you study the biblical context, when he walked around, the Pharisees was coming against him. The devil was coming against him. He showed self-control with the devil when the devil was trying to get trying to tempt him when he was fasting. OK, so it's the same thing when 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 we took on this off of being Christians. Right. It means Christian to be a Christian it means to be Christ like Jesus Christ. Christ means the anointed one. So we are little anointing ones, okay? We are anointed by Jesus Christ, okay? The same Holy Spirit that rose Jesus Christ uh, from his deathbed, if you will, is the same Holy Spirit that's dwelling in us, okay? It's just that real. When you're baptized in the water, when you're baptized in the fire of the Holy Spirit, you have the fullness of the same Holy Spirit. So you can exercise these the fruits, but you have to listen to him. You have to listen to him. A lot of people might have all of this, have the fullness of the Holy Spirit, but they're not listening to him. So that why that's why you fall up short on certain situations. OK, so let me read a little bit from my notes. I made notes on this last night. <clears throat> I said, it's a key element when you're walking in Christ that you don't take offense to everything because it's a trap from the enemy. If you fall into that trap, you, be, you will be just like the people of the world. Of course, there will be plenty that aim to offend you simply because you are a believer in Jesus Christ. 
They aimed to offend Jesus. And all he did was rebuke them. All he did was rebuke them. He didn't get mad and offensive and bent out of shape. He just rebuked them and kept it moving. So as disciples, we must master this in our walk as well <clears throat> to stay disciplined, even when you feel offended. The spirit of offense aims to have you in bondage, wrapped with fleshly emotions. If you take everything offensive, how can you grow? It will hinder you in your walk. With Jesus, being offensive all the time also ushers in the spirit of pride and anger. Once anger sets in the bitterness and so on and so on. Moral of the story, let your fruit show all the time. The Holy Spirit is not a sometime thing. It's an all the time walk lifestyle. OK, and I went to Proverbs 1911 in the ESV. Good sense make one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. We'll read that one more time. Proverbs 19.11 in the ESV. Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. So, guys, we got to really tighten up. You know, um, and I can speak from my personal standpoint. You know, this is something that I used to struggle with, too, that I had to bring to the cross. I had to crucify. I used to take a lot of stuff offensive simply because from a human standpoint, I'm going from a human standpoint with this one, simply because there was a lot of people that mistreated me. There's a lot of people that, um, you know, did me in the type of way, but it basically came down to traumatic events and stuff like that. So it puts you in a very offensive state of mind, if you will. And I want to highlight on that. OK, when you go through traumatic events, it's very, very important that you cling to Jesus and you don't cling to your emotions. If you go through traumatic and I know it's natural, I know it's I know it's um, easier said than done, but. I'm going to tell you, if you cling to your personal feelings all the time, you're cleaning, you're clinging to what the devil is ministering to you. So if you go through a traumatic event, you know, a person doing you in kind of way, you know, wherever the case may be, you know, it's traumatic, it's mind blowing, you know, it, 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 it rattles you emotionally, whether it's sadness or it makes you angry. Wherever the case may be, it don't make you feel good. But if you always cling to that emotion, that is because because that emotion right there at that moment is the work of the flesh. If you cling to that work of the flesh, the work of the flesh is doorways to the demonic. The demonic will come in and they will form a stronghold within that work of flesh that you're clinging to. And it will, it will become bondage over time. It will grow. OK, so somebody might do you wrong. You might want to just be like, man, you know, I don't forgive this person. I hate this person. See how that works. So you fall into that and you keep falling into that. And the spirits keep talking to you. You think these do you think this is just your emotion? No, the spirit comes in through that raw emotion right there. That's why it's important that even if a person wrong you, we got to we got to bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit. That's what keeps us free, bondage free. And that's how we break bondages too. So I had to go back. I had to renounce some stuff that I had going on from my from my childhood, from, from my early 20s. I had to get that right with Jesus to get to the point where I'm at today, y'all. You know, and, and, and realize that you don't have to argue with everybody. You know, I get tons of comments on here, man. People be trying to argue with me, trying to fuss with me trying to trying to stab at me and all that type of stuff. And I just simply delete the comment. Or if it get too, too bad with a person get irate, I just block them. We don't have to fall subject to offense. You can work around offense. If you see that that person is being offensive, show some love to them, show some patience and pray for that person. Like the story I told you guys about the racist guy that called me an N-word. I exercised my self-control on that. The old me, yeah, I would have turned to Ralph. I would have turned to anger. I would have turned to wherever else. Okay? But I exercised my self-control. 
I also exercise the goodness. Goodness is the quality of being morally good and virtuous. I exercise my goodness of my heart to pray for this man. And I still pray for that man. I don't even know this man, but that's the Christ in me. So guys, rebuke that spirit of offense. It's an ugly spirit. It brings in anger and all pride and all of that. See, demonic spirits work together. You're not just going to have one. You're going to have multitudes. I know, speaking from personal experience, I, I used to battle with this, but now I don't. Okay? So I feel like that's very important for the body of uh, Christ, you know, because I see it within our community through social media and things of that nature. And a couple of people that I know personally, you know, people always, you, you say you're Christ like sometimes, but you take offense to stuff all the time. That's not Christ like behavior. Get it right. Come to Jesus about that. Talk to Jesus about that. All right. God bless. I hope that this message reached the person that it needs to reach. And I pray that any demonic stronghold that tries to interact with this message, I block them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Y'all have a blessed day.